All right, we're getting ready to put the driver's side of the second window in. Again, it's the long skinny one from Motion Windows. Uh, what's easier to do is to build a wooden frame uh, here in the basement before we go up and do it in the van because it's easier to lay it out while it's laying here. So we've got some poplar and basically the tricky part about making this frame is it's actually higher on the back than it is on the front. So if you're looking at it exaggerated, the, the top is kind of like this compared to the bottom at an exaggerated. For me, it's just, uh, this was a two inch cut and this was a inch and uh, 13 sixteenths. So it's three sixteenths less. And then I had the slightly angle. So this wood here is actually exaggerated, angled a little bit down on this edge and angled here. So what I'm doing now is We've cut this rabbit with the saw and the idea of this rabbit is it's going to sit on the edge of the window when we um, put it in. So right now what I need to do is push everything down, get everything in place and then now all of them are sitting on top of the clamp ring around the window and with my pencil that I can't find over here with my pencil I'm going to mark the top and the bottom because this isn't a straight cut exaggerated again this cut is going like this exaggerated it's not that prominent but so I'm going to draw a line between there and there, then I'm going to keep it angled on my saw and cut it. And that will give us the beginning of the framework for around the window. I don't know if you can see it, but if you'll notice it is taller here than it is here. So you can see that this is going up like that. So when we put it in, it's all going to follow the same angle. So when it's sitting on top this should be level and this should be level which it is so now that we've done that we want it to be a reasonably tight fit on the frame but not like crazy tight so we're just going to throw a nail in these to hold them in place with the nail gun sure that this, the top is flush. So at least we kind of have it held together. That'll allow us to get the top frame on, the top frame wood on. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that now. All right, so we're going to put a top edge around this frame. So I can open the glue bottle. And uh, this is actually what, when we put the panel on, when the panel is over, this is actually what we end up screwing into. So this is basically for the, the panel that goes on the side of the van to come in and touch this, and it also gives us an edge to screw to. So I'm just going to glue this, because glue is what's going to hold all this together. And it's going to be flush 
lift you upright. Go right off the excess blade. And we're going to do the same on the other end. Yep. All right, we're just sticking the uh, the last piece of the frame together. We use good quality wood glue. Wood glue. We use Tolman one three, but any good wood glue. We're just going to put some reinforcing pieces on here. We're just going to go and glue to hold that. So we're just going to have these off cut. So we got some quarter inch maple. And we'll just glue these on these corners here just to hold and reinforce those corners with clamps. So we'll do that right now. Alright, so we've got the window in, it looks good, and we built the window frame earlier, I've still got to put the corners in, I've got some 45's I put in the corners, and the reason I do that is because of the round, so it covers up the round, but I'm going to test fit this frame, it's going to sit on the rabbit, which we did, and now you'll see what the purpose of this frame is, if I take this straight edge and hold it at the bottom surface, and hold it across, You'll see it's touching there and it's touching there and it's 8mm off here because uh, I need to put an 8mm spacer along this top edge and the middle here is an 8mm spacer because of the shape of the wood and the, uh, sorry, of the shape of the metal and it steps up and steps down. So this is how I overcome uh, those angle differences. This screw hole up here that's in the top left corner is basically a bit over 8mm higher up than the rest of all these holes so by putting an 8mm space along here everything's going to line up so now you can see by having this window frame that's actually taller at the bottom than the top so again exaggerated it. it's like this all right but you can see now how everything's going to line up so that when I put the panel on it's all going to be able to be screwed down and lined up perfectly we'll screw into this which will provide a nice framework for the window and like the other one, we'll show you down in the basement, but we put four magnets on here that kind of just hold this against the metal so it doesn't vibrate. But everything is looking good now. We can actually proceed to start to put the uh, sound deadener and stuff on and uh, get ready to build this panel. Alright, so we're making these little things. Uh, what it is is a one inch powerful magnet. They're really powerful and just a screw with a low enough head on it that it doesn't stick out above the magnet. A couple of nylock lock nuts and just a little right angle bracket. And the whole idea is that A we've got two nuts on here to space it because it needs to be lifted a bit off the magnet so that 
it clears the frame on the window. Um, but what we're going to do here is this is essentially if this was the the van metal, this will clamp, boom, suck onto the van with the magnet, and then we'll have that screwed into the window frame. So if you imagine that the window is here and we got our frame sitting over the window what we'll do with this is we'll slip this on the metal and then thing and then put two screws in here and what we'll do that in four places two on top two on bottom left and right and what that'll do is essentially it stops the frame from floating and wanting to go um, in and out so to speak like uh, the frame is pretty well can't move left or right or up or down because it's uh, got a rabbit edge that goes around and pushes over the window and what it is is when we bring the plywood down and we have the plywood going over the top we don't really want that bouncing and floating up and down so these magnets will hold us all nice and clamped um, so it holds us against the window frame and gives us a good support for screwing our uh, plywood in when we do the finishing. We'll show you out in the van, but that's what we're doing. We're making four of these little things to go and hold this window frame in place. All right, so even though it's sunny, it's only sunny 17 degree F, so I'm dressed like a snowman. But, all right, so these are the elements for the window panel around the van. So what we've got here is the uh, the window panel which is made of six millimeter marine grade plywood. At the moment this is only a rough cut so it's not precise cut. So it's roughly the size of the window but it'll finally be adjusted once I get this wood frame in. So this is how it looks and because we're actually doing a driver side panel it's going to be flipped around so from behind this is what it's going to look from behind so this is the front of the van and this is the driver side now you'll notice a couple of things here there's a spacer down here but it doesn't go all the way to the top and bottom the reason being is that there's a concave kind of shape near the back doors so in other words it's not a flat shape so what I'm doing here I've got 6mm marine grade plywood as the uh, main panel and then I'm reinforcing it with some offcuts of some 8mm marine grade plywood I had. And by doing that, this provides enough of a spacer that the panel will appear to be flat. You don't see this anyway. So that's what the purpose of this is for. This is actually to space the curve that's in the steelwork. And across the top, what happens is this last screw hole that's towards the rear door is actually raised and the rest of it is all the same height. So by putting this 8mm, and it happens to be 8mm will do the job, but by putting this 8mm spacer across the top as well, what I'm essentially doing is eliminating this step up that would happen at the top left hand corner so that I can put this on and the panel will appear to be flat. So with this spacer and this spacer, it appears to flatten the areas and that's all we need and apart from that this um, piece of plywood panel is pretty well much rectangular on the original plastic panel they had some cutouts for the uh, d-ring shackles we've eliminated those there is a little cutout at the bottom corner here and there's a little dip here that's where there's a little kink in the in the middle pillar support and this is where the angle changes at the bottom now what this piece of 8mm spacer is for is there is actually currently no way to screw on this side. So we're actually going to install a right angle bracket that will um, support this side of the panel. The way it is right now there is no way to support it. There's no screws, there's no ledge, there's no edge. So I've just reinforced it so it's thicker and stronger where I'm about to put my two screws through. Um, the reason I haven't gone all the way down is the middle pillar kind of has a kick out 
and that's why it kind of stops down here. It's pretty well level with the little dip, but that's why it stops down here. So this is essentially the panel portion of the window panel. It combines with this window panel or window surround that we've made. Again, reminding you that it is, this is the uh, bottom, it is thicker at the bottom than it is at the top by about, I don't know, 2 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So this is thicker, this is thinner. And that's actually going to slide over the motion window we bought. There's a little rabbit here, so it'll sit on the edge. The right angle corners here are to hide where the windows are curved on the corners. So essentially, this will slide on the window and come up when everything is in place, come up against this, and then that'll give us somewhere to tie this panel to and tie them together. What we've also created is when this is slid on the over the window, it can kind of rock and shake and maybe want to move a little bit because this panel has some flexing in it. That's where we've created these magnets, four of them. So essentially they're going to end up going like this. They'll stick to the van and there'll be two on top and two on bottom like this. And then they'll be screwed into the wood here when, when everything's in place. And what will that do? The magnets can technically slide a little bit like they can slide left and right and they can slide up but their main strength is you pulling force so if this is stuck to the metal the main strength is it it doesn't allow you to pull it off it's nearly impossible to just directly pull it off you have to kind of slide it or lever it off so once these are all in place this will hold this panel beautifully against the window frame and stop any movement and then once we put all the screws around the frame and tie it together with the panel we have a really robust looking side panel now we've gone for a bit of an industrial look with our screws being exposed and everything and you'll see that when we take a video of the completed panel in a second so right now I've done most of what I've done without having to drill any holes in the van I have had to enlarge the holes they had in the, uh, the plastic uh, to fit the uh, rib nut that we got. So I have had to enlarge them. Now when you enlarge holes or drill holes, don't do like a lot of people do and just drill and let the filings go everywhere. I gotta admit, I'm a bit disappointed in Fiat or Ram. I mean, obviously it comes from Ducato or Fiat in, in Italy. And they pretty well pre-drilled the plastic panels just as they put them in. And the filings were just at the bottom of the, wherever they felt. We've had to vacuum out as much as we can and this was from a brand new van so it's a bit disappointing to see that they just left metal filings everywhere so even if you see that maybe vacuum out as many of these filings as you can you really don't want all these filings around they're just going to be a source of rust later so we're about to jump in the van and drill three new holes that weren't there the two for the uh, pillar support and one where we've had to make an adjustment where they drilled a horrible hole. So we're going to use a vacuum cleaner to try and catch as much of the filings. And we're going to drill those holes and install those rib nuts. And then we're going to start doing the final test fitting of our panels. <laughs> 